Just from the looks wise, I'm gonna give it a uh, 10 out of 10. But this is actually really, really good too. That looks pretty interesting. It looks like I'm like a um, royal eating some <laughs> royal chocolate. That's really sweet. Cheese. That's really, really sweet. Oh my god. What's up guys, today I'm diving into a package from 7-Eleven. They have sent me some chocolate products that are with their eye sharing project. Some of these chocolate products today, and I'm gonna rate them in different areas. I'm gonna rate them from their looks, their sweet and their taste. I'm gonna rate it from 1 to 10. And I'm also gonna talk about if I feel anything special when I'm eating the chocolate. Okay, let's unbox. Yo! Jeez, that's a big amount of chocolate. Oh my god. Oh, those look really good. I think I'm gonna like this. I feel this seems quite similar to one of to some of the Danish products that we have in Denmark, so I'm really excited to taste this later. <laughs> and a bear? <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god. I'm ready to taste all of them. Let's go. But before I start rating guys, I would like to hear what your favorite chocolate is. Please write that down in the comment section down below and maybe I'm gonna taste your chocolate in the future. But let's start rating. So as I said, I'm gonna rate each of these chocolates. Three things, the looks, taste and the sweetness. I'm gonna rate it from 1 to 10, from E to S. So the first chocolate that I'm gonna taste is gonna be the bear chocolate. Just from the looks wise, I'm gonna give it a uh, 10 out of 10. It, uh, it looks so funny to me, I just feel like, ah oh, man, I just wanna eat this chocolate, it looks. Let's, uh, let's try to unbox it and see how it actually tastes. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Damn, orange jelly chocolate? I actually thought it would be a massive, big chocolate bear that I could just munch on. Let's try this orange jelly chocolate. Okay, this actually looks pretty, pretty good. This is quite different compared to all the chocolates that I've tasted because there's actually like some orange jelly inside and I really haven't like tried any chocolate with that in it. But the sweetness level, I would rate it around 9 out of 10. It's pretty, pretty sweet. And for the general taste, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I really, really hoped that that would like be a bit better, but this is actually really, really good too. So the next chocolate that I'm gonna taste is gonna be the Godiva chocolate. And it has 90% coca in it. And something that's like really special about like chocolate that has higher percent of uh, coca in it that has a lower amount of sugar. So that's pretty cool. Just like from the outside like perspective, I would say it's really really beautiful. I really like the like golden part of the chocolate that looks really nice. So I would say that I would rate like outside perspective around 8 out of 10. Looks so awesome. <laughs> That looks pretty interesting. It looks like I'm like a um, royal eating some <laughs> royal chocolate. It's golden, just perfect. But let's try it and see if it's actually good. Damn, that looks really, really clean. That's really, really good. I feel like not like too sugary or anything like that, but the general taste just really like outshines the sugar, if you can say it in that way. It kind of like reminds me of something that I had as a little kid. So my mom used to make me like a, uh, let's say like a smurple. You guys know what smurple is in Danish. It's like a bread with some, you know, butter on it and then some meat on it. But instead of the meat, she would put chocolate on it. And that chocolate kind of tastes like this. So what we call that in Denmark, like a bread with butter and chocolate, we call that a chocolate food, I guess. <laughs> Damn, 
give me a... It's kind of like nostalgic in a way. So I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 now, but maybe later I'm actually gonna rate it a 10 out of 10. Damn, it's so good. The next product on the list is car shit. Okay, let's try it. It has 70% dark chocolate. Like, I don't know what's going on, but this is such a massive like chocolate cheese. Damn, it's it probably it's probably only gonna last me a day though, but uh, if I'm bulking, but <laughs> right now I'm not. <laughs> but it looks good. I like the size, it looks pretty cool. God damn! Oh my god, it feels like I'm unboxing one of these like Willy Wonka chocolate bars. Oh my god, this looks fantastic. Let's try one. So I'm just gonna like eat from here. Let's try it. Pretty good. I like it. It's not too sweet again. I would rate the sweetness around I think 7 out of 10. And the general taste around also 7 out of 10. So Pretty, pretty okay, pretty good. So man, so much chocolate, good, good. All right, so on the next thing that I'm gonna taste is gonna be the Bailey chocolate. It has apparently strawberry inside. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to taste. I'm not really used to taste, like um, when I'm eating chocolate, I'm not used to taste like anything else in the chocolate besides like nuts. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to try and taste actually chocolate with strawberry inside. Mm. Looks pretty good. But actually, I forgot to rate the outside perspective. And I feel like this is really, really unique because, yes, yeah, just, just look at it. It looks like a champagne glass. Pretty cool. So I would give the rating, the outside perspective, a 9 out of 10. I feel it's really, really like original, really like Bailey style. So. I like it, it's pretty cool. Chocolate strawberry inside. I just feel like that's something unique, something new. Maybe I'm gonna like it, maybe I don't. Let's try it. Whoa. It's really sweet. Jeez. That's really, really sweet. Oh my god. Because we Danish people, we celebrate uh, also Christmas, but we have usually a lot of chocolate. When we are celebrating Christmas to get each other to, uh, I guess, eat more together, we had, like, for example, like at my home, we have like a big table close to the Christmas tree where all of the presents are under. We have like a big table with a lot of different chocolates, and I feel like baby chocolate would be like a good chocolate to put there because. I feel like it kind of tastes like some of the other chocolates that you see on my like Christmas table with my family. I think it's really nice to have. It's really nice to have such a sweet, sweet chocolate there. It's um, it's good. <laughs> it's really, really sweet. Like sweeter, sweetest level, I would give it a, a 11 out of 10. <laughs> so sweet. And the general taste would probably be a 8 out of 10. So pretty damn good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Sweetery coca ball. So this is something that I'm more like familiar with because when I'm eating chocolate, usually I really like to eat chocolate with nuts inside. I'm really excited to taste this one. Like if I'm not eating a chocolate nut, I'm usually eating chocolate with nuts inside. I just feel it's really nice to have something more. And just before I try it, the packaging looks. I mean, it looks awesome. It's like a. Yeah, like again, a Willy Wonka golden chocolate package. I would give the outside perspective a 7 out of 10. Looks pretty good, pretty simple. Let's just try and taste the actual chocolate. Damn. Interesting. Now, this is something that I really like. It's something that I really, really feel familiar with. Because, like Christmas again, we used to have a big chocolate table, but this like chocolate with almonds inside, like with nuts inside, is usually the thing that I go for when I'm eating chocolate with my family or friends. Also on Christmas, we used to have like like table where we would play like games, where we would package like snacks and other stuff like that, and we would roll the dice and then steal each other's packages. And we would usually also pack a lot of chocolate there, so that would kind of like bring us more together because. Then we would also, you know, after the game, we would always unbox each present and it would usually be chocolate or some other snacks and then we could like trade it and just get the one, okay? 
get the product that we would like to get and I think that's really really awesome and this like this one is like a thing that I would go for for Christmas if I um, if I saw somebody else had it so I would like try to negotiate with them and trade them <laughs> so the general like sweet of this uh, product I would give it a um, 9 out of 10 it's pretty sweet and the general taste I would give it a 10 out of 10 because I really really like this I really like the almonds I really like the chocolate it's really good we're gonna try Lindo chocolate and it has 100% dark chocolate so that's pretty interesting and the package of this is it's excellent <laughs> It's really really awesome, really really nice. Yeah, I can't really say too much about the like outside perspective. I would just give it a 10 out of 10 straight away. It looks royal. It looks something that I would like to give to my Taiwanese girlfriend if I had one, but yeah, I don't. So I'm just gonna eat it myself. No, that looks clean. That looks excellent. Let's take a bite of it. Yeah, I mean, you can really taste that it's like 100% dark chocolate because you can't really taste any like sugar in here almost. I would say like the sweetness of it is like 2 out of 10. It's not really that sweet. But I would say the general taste is around say 7 out of 10. It would be like a nice snack for you if you're craving like maybe a little like chocolate or something like that. And if you eat this, I think you would give like get the um, sugary taste to like vanish. The general taste of this is around 6 to 7 out of 10. So I've tried all of the chocolates now and I feel they were like really really good. I kind of have like some nostalgic feelings. I really feel that I have some nostalgic feelings for a lot of them. But like a thing that I just thought about like was how do you actually bring people together when, uh, with chocolate? And a funny like story that I remembered from middle school, like we don't really like give chocolate to our like loved ones and stuff like that. But I just remember like in middle school, one of my friends he bought like a heart shaped like chocolate case for a girl that he really really liked. <laughs> so he he gave it to her and she just took it and then just she went away. <laughs> She didn't even say thank you or anything like that. That was like so sad, but like so funny. I just feel like that's a really, really fun like memory to have. I think that I was like thinking about because in the US, they probably do that where they actually give chocolate to their loved ones on Valentine's Day. I think that's so awesome, but we, we really don't do that in Denmark. So I'm like quite interested to like think about what do you actually do in Taiwan? Do you do anything special on Valentine's Day? Do you give your loved ones chocolate? Or what do you do? And do you, in some sort of way, use chocolate to get people to come more together? Because in Denmark, I used to just feel like we mostly use chocolate at Christmas time to get our family to come together and sit, like for example, go together at the table or play games with chocolate where you exchange and give chocolate. It's so awesome because 7-Eleven has this event on the 15th of November. It's an ice sharing event at 7 p.m. 20 I, 20 Fen Shang, I sharing by Gao, Lian Shen, Dai Ge, Da Jia, So Wen Yuan, Da Shen Dan Jie. Let's celebrate the warmest Christmas. I like the purple wish with 7 Eleven at Uni, uh, at Uni President Department Store and Dream Mall. Alright, guys, we have reached the end of this video. But I would like to rate or like say which chocolate that I like the most. So the chocolate that I actually resonated the most with is gonna be the Godiva chocolate. I think I resonated most with this because it reminds me of the chocolate that I used to eat back in middle school every day. But I kind of tied out with the almond chocolate balls from Sweeter because this this just reminds me of Christmas. So this is two chocolates that I like the most because it, the taste is just very good and it has some really nostalgic like feeling for me. So I still don't really know how you guys do it here in Taiwan, but I really encourage you if you're celebrating Christmas, I would encourage you to make some games where you play around with, for example, chocolate. You, you, uh, you make like a chocolate a present and then you have some like big game with dice where you play and steal each other's gifts and when the time runs out 
you guys can open your gifts and share or trade the chocolate or other awesome snacks. I just feel it's so awesome, so nostalgic for me. Special. Guys, I would also like to know what is your most nostalgic chocolate memory. Please write it down below in the comments. And I would also like to hear what is the product that you guys are most excited to try? Is it the, is it the Godiva? Maybe the bear? <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video. It has been so awesome to try all of these chocolates. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.